Well, joining us from Birmingham is UKIP's chairman, Paul Oakton. A very good evening to you. Do you know what happened today, Mr Oakton? No, I don't yet, Evan, but I'm in the process of trying to find out. Have you spoken to the participants in whatever happened today? I haven't. I've spoken to our party leader and we've agreed that there will be an investigation into the events of this morning. But understandably today, as Nigel has already outlined, our thoughts are with Stephen and his health. The priority right now is making sure that Stephen recovers quickly. Once we start to get into the coming days, I'm sure that there will be plenty of time to talk to people that were involved and find out the exact detail of what took place. Well, I'm sure everyone will agree with you that it's, it's mostly about Stephen Wolfe's health today. But it'll, I do want to talk about the health of the party. I mean, would you agree with Alex, uh, Alexandra there that uh, this gives credence to those who say your party is full of fruitcakes or loonies? No, no, I wouldn't actually. You know, we've got to put this into context. The big concern today, as you said, and as I agree, is the health of Stephen Wolfe. But this is two individuals in a party whose membership is in the thousands. They're two significant uh, individuals, admittedly. But still, the party is far bigger than any one individual. That's something that we've demonstrated particularly over these last few months. And whilst today's uh, events were unfortunate, they don't characterise or define the party in any way. We're right now focused very much on uh, putting forward the process to select our new leader. That's the priority. We will get to the bottom of what happened this morning and, if necessary, take appropriate action. But this is two individuals that clearly got carried away. To what extent that happened, we don't yet know, but we will find out. Right. Uh, just tell me this. If it turned out, as some reports have said, and there are lots of conflicting reports, if it turns out that Stephen Wolfe in some way started this by saying, I'll see you outside, or words to that effect, um, would that be compatible with him being leader? Because basically he is favourite to be leader of the party now that Diane James has stepped down. Well, uh, uh, just on that last point, I don't think it's, it's uh, correct to say that anybody's a favourite when we don't know who the candidates are. Also, I think it would be completely inappropriate for me as somebody who is going to look to investigate this incident to sit here and, uh, and give a hypothetical situation, a hypothetical result of what might happen if it's found out that somebody has done something wrong. Uh, I haven't really started the investigation yet. As I say, my focus is elsewhere, and that's on Stephen Wolfe's health. Once we move on to looking at the details, it will be at the end of that investigation that we make a determination on the appropriate conduct of members. But, Mr Oakden, it is not possible, surely, for UKIP to select as a leader in the next three or four months somebody who started a fight in the European Parliament. I mean, you can just say that. That's not about who started it or whether Stephen Wolfe started it or not. As a fact, it is not possible for you to select a leader who's, who started a fight. I think our membership are a very intelligent group of people. They will wait as they do to hear the outcome of the investigation that we will put forward. They will draw the conclusions from that investigation that they will. And being a truly democratic party, which is what we are, they will make a determination on their own without me drawing it for them ahead of time as to whether they're prepared to lend their votes to anybody right. taking those facts into account. Well, I'll take it that you wouldn't oppose him standing as a... a, a and you wouldn't oppose a candidate who'd started a fight. But look, let me just what ask... I, no, no, that's... What I want to do, Evan, is I want our party now to showcase the breadth and, and, and depth of the talent that we have within our ranks. That is out, uh, for sure going to happen in this leadership contest. I'm not going to speculate on what happened today. Uh, with all due respect, that is what you're asking me to do. I'm not right. going to go there. We're going to investigate it. Yeah. At the end of that investigation, well, we will then draw our conclusions. OK, you want to showcase your talent. I mean, a lot of people would say that you should be embarrassed today. You will remember Nigel Farage went to the, uni uh, the European Parliament, the few days after the referendum, and he basically scoffed at them. He said he was laughing now. Do you not think, basically, the rest of the European Parliament and everyone who reads a European newspaper will be laughing at this country because you are our biggest representative party in the European Parliament and you're making a spectacle of yourselves there? Well, well that's if you believe the report that there was some kind of punch-up. Nobody has confirmed that yet. In fact, the you're latest the, reports Nigel would Farage suggest that... Nigel Farage said there the was an altercation. Reports, Nigel the, Farage an said altercation, a... yes. An altercation, Evan, has many definitions. It does not necessarily mean people throwing punches at each other. And, and latest reports would suggest that that didn't happen. So if this is just two grown men having an argument in a closed room, that happens across all political parties every day of the week. So this is what I keep saying. We have to find out what happened this morning and then we'll be in a proper position to make a determination. I'm so sorry, we're out of time. But look, you don't get hospitalised after you've had a verbal argument with someone. Someone has been hospitalised today. Are you suggesting that you don't think any violence... Or are you suggesting it was possible that no violence was involved at all? 
It is very clear that Steve Mulf took a fall today. It's very clear that some hours after that he was hospitalised. Our concerns are with him and his health now. It is not clear what caused Stephen Wolfe to have that fall. And until I got that clear in my mind and in the mind of my colleagues, it would be unfair and inappropriate to speculate. Paul Oakden, thanks very much indeed. Thanks. Thank you.